it's Sarah and Kiwi. This is uh, just real quick. I just wanted to show you what I was doing. I am working with beads a little bit and some different bead findings. I decided to try something. I've been working on these mandalas. Okay, so these basically are based on the colors of the chakras. We have seven chakras, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And so I'm playing around with this, and um, I, I needed some more discs, so I went and got the wooden discs. But while I was there, I saw this pack of four little um, mini mini canvases, and these happen to be black. So and I generally base coat everything black. So I thought, well, let me try one on there. They're kind of cute, right? So here's one that I did. I haven't put the top dots on here yet which just are little um, metallic dots that kind of help it pop. Anywho, then I'm looking at it and I thought, well, it has this little wooden frame. I could drill a hole in there and make it into a dream catcher. So I, you know, I've been doing, um, I've made a few dream catcher um, dot pieces as well, but I thought I probably have Swarovski crystals. I probably have all the stuff I need. So I did. I went and found some eye pins, some head pins, um, jump rings or split rings, and my Swarovski crystals. And I found a red and orange. Now it's hard to see because it's hanging down, but it's super cute. I'll put it on my Facebook page. Oh, maybe you can see it here. Because it's, it's kind of, they're little stubby ones, right? So, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. This is a little small, too. It's not the same millimeter size, but anyway. It was what I was hoping for. I thought, okay, that's cute. That's what I wanted to do. Um, I'm going to staple a little ribbon up here, I think. Or I could put another jump ring. Actually, a jump ring might be cool. Or one of those um, Tim Holtz eye screws. We'll see. Actually, maybe an eye, um, an eye pin. I haven't decided, but some way to hang it, and it could be a, a little, you know, ornament type thing. So, this is. I wanted to show you how I did that, and it's super simple. Then, I thought, oh well, dream catchers have feathers, and I remembered that I have these feather charms. So I made a little dangle and put the feather charm on the bottom. So I did the same thing and then just connected the feather charm to the bottom. And I'll just show you how I did that real quick. Um, the other thing is you're going to need to drill some holes into the wood. Um, you could use an awl and I tried that. I have this little awl um, hole puncher thing. But I was having trouble getting my, because I'm just using these eye, um, eye pins as my hook to hold the bead. So I'll show you what I did. I did make pilot holes, so I kind of just evenly spaced the holes. I made pilot holes with my awl, but then I'm going to use my Dremel tool. So it's basically this little, um, I've, I've shared it before in um, videos, it's like a little drill. And super easy to use. It has a little 2 to 10 speed thing here and so it's super easy um, so I'll show you that oh and then it came with six feathers and I can't find my sixth one because there's seven colors uh, seven chakras which are the energies throughout our body anyway I'm gonna do I may do a book review somebody asked me about the book I bought um, so it's spaced evenly so it was three on this side three on this side and one in the middle, so seven. So it was pretty easy to, to space them out. But I just thought the feather charm was a good idea. You don't need it or anything, but, so all I did was um, took this little eye pin and, oh, to put it in here first. Okay, so let's, let's do this part first. I'm just gonna, so I don't make a mess. But basically, I'm gonna use that pilot hole and line up my Dremel tool. Oop, let me go up a little just going to line up my Dremel tool and you can go all the way through the wood it's fine but I'm going to line it up and just go 
And you're going through canvas too, because this is coated with a canvas, so just give it a little pressure, but it's not a big deal. All right, and you're done. So my holes are there. Now, what I'm going to put in there is this little eye pin, so I'll come back down. Oops, sorry about that. I don't know which way is up. So by an eye pin, I mean it has this little like loop on the end of it okay because that's what I'm going to dangle my bead from so I'm going to cut this in half I don't need all that really you only need as much length as that so I, I thought I had shorter ones but I'm just going to cut this down about half way and then you're going to bend it in half as well to make it double the thickness and you don't even need glue or anything so I'm just going to bend it over on itself and crunch it Crunch it over. And that one came up a little bit high, but that's okay. Then I'm just going to hold it by the loop and just give it some gentle pressure and push it into that. It's kind of crazy how well it fits. Like, I didn't know what size bit that was, but it's the smallest bit. And then it, it just goes in there. So I'll do it again. I should have done them all. Oh, I need an eye one. So I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to bend it in half, this little part with the hoop on it, and then kind of crunch it on each other. Alright, so super simple. I over crunched it. It's kind of off. Okay. Then you just hold it by the loop, give it some pressure, and then I've been turning it like facing forward so that like it kind of disappears. So then, when you go to attach your beads, so I have blue, indigo, all I do is use a jump ring, and I, I go buy the jump rings, and then I put them in this little case, just so I know where they are, but I have these little tiny ones, that's what I've been using. So it's a jump ring, or a split ring, I think is what you call it, but there's like a little split to it, so you find the split, I think it's right here, I can't see. Like, I'm looking under my, I have bifocals in my glasses, but I don't, I hardly ever use them. Anyway, I'm going to, you go like this. You don't pull it apart, you go like that. So I'm just going to open it. See, I'm not, I'm not even on, okay, there we go. Open it, take my blue, put it on, then put it on here. And then, it's a little jump ring, so it's hard to especially on camera, but just try to push it back together. I think I got it. It's a little, ugh. Yeah, so doing it on camera is not the easiest. I'll, I'll do a different jump ring because I think I like pulled it wrong when I opened it. To keep it nice and tight, you just got to twist away from each other, like one side this way, so it goes one side that way, one side that way. And then I'll try that again. I need the light blue, this one. And then hold it through there. So it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm going to try it one more time. There we go. Man, I really need some type of bifocals or something. If I was doing that kind of work all the time, I would probably have some type of magnifying glass. So that's it. So I just thought I would share that. I'll put some pics up on, um, so yeah, then um, uh, Peggy had sent me some beads, let me go back up, for to make chakra bracelets, and I made them all, and I gave them away, and um, I never used the charms. So I put, there's a Buddha charm here, and then I have this lotus flower that I was thinking I would add um, up there. Because I, like I said, I can't find my other feather. But even if you didn't use any charms, it's just pretty with the, with the beads. I think it's super cute. You could use bigger beads. You could put a whole, like, row of beads of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, dark blue, purple. I mean, you could do what you want. But you could just put a charm. I don't know. 
one charm would be cute but I really like the idea of it being a dream catcher and then you know dream catchers usually do have uh, feathers or you know well, I, I think most of them do have fe oops, feathers because they're wispy right isn't that the you know they catch your dreams I don't know they're floating I don't know but I just want to see oh I didn't even put that one on I can't I don't have the other um, one of these in there but yeah I gotta paint the uh, mandala first on here but I just wanted to show you because I went ahead and did it did the other one without filming and I thought well I should have filmed that so sometimes they hang forward and sometimes they don't but I think it, you get the idea I'm going to put, this is the little lotus flower charm. <clears throat> I might, might as well. Uh, now I made these, right? So basically you just use, um, wait a minute. Yeah, another eye pin because you want to have a loop on both ends so that you can loop it up to here and then loop a little charm through it. So you have to use another eye pin. On these I use the head pins. So this one is just a head pin because I didn't need the loop on the bottom. So there's lots of videos on um, YouTube for beading. I learned pretty much everything I know, which, you know, isn't a lot. And I'm really not good at making the little loops. Like when you make a loop, like a little, uh, it's just basic, a basic loop. It's hard, like, I have a hard time. I use these little round nose pliers. Like, I have all the supplies, of course. But, for whatever reason, I don't get a very, like, really nice round loop. So, um, don't worry about that. As long as it'll hold and you get the desired effect. So, I'm just, might as well put this little lotus flower on. And see... If it would, because I have two lotus flowers, I could just put a lotus flower on each end. That would look good, you know. I mean, at least it would be um, what symmetrical, right? So I opened the jump ring. Not very wide. I really didn't open it very wide. Yeah, working with this size stuff, oof, it'll make you go blind. There we go. So let's see what that looks like. I think it's doable. I think it's super cute. Maybe two Buddhas and a lotus flower would be better, but either way, that's it. You see? Isn't that cute? It's a little dream catcher. So here it would be like this. A little dream catcher. I love it. All right, you guys, so that's it. I mean, you could, like I said, see, look, you can kind of see two beads. I mean, you can make these as long as you want because usually the dream catchers have little dangles coming down. Um, but initially, I just thought, I just want to put a bead there. So I did it with the one bead, and then I get carried away, as always, with everything. But I kind of like having the different kind of charms. Thanks again, Peggy. All right, you guys, that's it. The, oops, let me put this in the shot. Thanks for watching.